Well, I am done for the evening. And uh, I still got some ways to go. <laughs> I, I burnt about five, five hours. Very tired, very tired. Look guys, if you decide to get into this industry, just know that it's gonna be a lot of long days, a lot of long drives. As you are, but yup, of course you lie. Sit there and organize, try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sorta tight, cause someone wrote you lines, thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lines. Take tomorrow, for example. That's gonna be a long day. I kid you not, 11 hours. You would think 11 hours would go by fast, but I tell you, when you get on these long loads, <laughs> 11 hours can last an eternity. Now, the day could go quick. You know, like if, it's, if, if the loads is broken up in a day, let's say you get, let, let's take my, my Michigan load, for example. I do two Michigan loads, my day's over with. And it and it it, it it lightweight goes quick. Like, okay, I go up to Michigan, drop off, come back to Ohio, grab another load, take that up to Michigan, and bring it back and I'm done. But when you get on these, when you get on these long loads, like, like my Houston loads, my down south loads, <laughs> those <laughs> That drive feels like an eternity because you don't want to you, you don't want to stop you know you don't want to stop you you want to burn through your eight hours but you're gonna have to stop and get out and walk around and just you know collect your sanity because if you don't you'll you'll go fucking crazy in the truck like oh my God, you know, I'm on my way down to Houston from PA, so made it over here to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Posted up. My fleet manager was like, "Yo, why don't you you wanna you wanna do a small load tomorrow and get back at it?" I, you know, I thought about that and I was like, "Yeah," but after he told me how many miles I'm gonna average between now and Monday let's not get greedy you know what I'm saying let's not get greedy you know I, I know I want to get uh, get it in anyway but it really to be honest with you it really doesn't matter because this paperwork or this load is not going on this week's paycheck or next week's paycheck next week's paycheck is already set <laughs> So whatever I did week before last is what I'm getting next week anyway. This load ain't gonna pay out until probably the end of the month, beginning of the beginning of next month. So that's why I said let's not be greedy. We 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 will average the loads and average the miles how they come. So I'm not you know too upset and about not getting my miles because my fleet manager would get me the miles any kind of way possible think about it heading down to heading down to houston for what about what 10 about 10 hundred miles down there give or take give or take some change and then on the way back up to ohio that's 20 right there within four days. So, over the weekend, I usually don't work the weekend, but I will probably get maybe, maybe a 34 in with a drop that picks up on Friday and delivers on Monday, and I can still get my 34 in too. The actual two days off, not just 34 you know <laughs> not not just 34 you got to get up and get ready to go right after the 34 no monday morning literally hop in the truck monday morning and get it there and get my miles in that's how my fleet manager works 
That's how a fleet manager should work. A fleet manager shouldn't put problems on its on on their drivers. The fleet manager should work for the driver to make sure the driver is comfortable. That's what my fleet manager does. Now, I'm not promoting my company, but I will give you a little bit about what this company what this company is. The company is hiring. Am I'm going to promote the company to get the to get the the sign? I mean, not the sign on, but the reference. No, no, I'm I'm not worried about that. This is a local company. I know many of you guys that watch me. You guys are from abroad, but you have to stay in Ohio because you can't. Well, depending on where you at, okay, depending on where you at. You, you might be able to take your truck home. But in actuality, when you're on your home time, you're not supposed to take your truck home. So you gotta literally stay with, with within the range. We, we got, what, four? We got two places to park. We got two yards and two terminals. Uh, Columbus. Cincinnati, Akron, and Worcester. So you got to stay within the Ohio region, you know. If you stay in Cleveland, nine times out of ten, you'll be parking at Akron. If you stay in Columbus, nine times out of ten, you'll be parking at Worcester. And, you know, in the other, in the other two cities thereafter. Well, whoever you work for, or whatever you do, whoever you drive for, you just got to make sure you have a good rapport with your driver manager. That's what makes the company good. It, that, that's in my opinion. If you get a good driver manager and you get a good rapport with that driver manager, that driver manager take care of you and you take care of them, then working for that company is going to be dynamite. Dynamite! You're gonna enjoy coming, hopping in their truck. You're gonna, no matter what the truck is, if it has a driver camera in it or whatever the case, you going if you and the driver manager has a good rapport, then that right there is gonna set the tone for the rest of your duration with the company. Now, everybody else could be good to you. Uh, people in payroll, people in HR, hell, maybe the president. But if you don't have that rapport with your fleet manager, your driver manager, then that's where the problems is gonna be, right there, right there. because. Between them getting the loads and you taking it, the driver manager is your middleman. That's the person you're going to come to if you have any problems. Hey, uh, I'm on this load. I don't think I can handle it. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, okay. Well, I'll set you up with something else. Bam, bam, boom. We'll get somebody else that can handle it. Or you get in a situation like, yo, your, your driver manager get into a situation like, yo, I need you to uh, run this up to such and such for me right quick because I, I got nobody that'll take it. No problem. I'll, I'll take care of you on the back end. His word is his bond. If he say he gonna take care of you, he's gonna take care of you. And that's why me and my driver manager gets along well because his word is his bond. Not like none of them other low jacks that I had dealt with. Now, before Matt left, Matt was another driver manager that I got along well with. He was another one that his word was his bond. Now, the driver manager after him, that's where the problems came. Same thing when I was with U.S. Express. Now, U.S. Express, I did not give too much thought because I just used U.S. Express for the experience 
only. So I was just taking any and everything with US Express. But when I got with, with Jay and R. Schwugel and I got with Matt, the time there was beautiful with him. But then he had he 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 found better pastures. And unfortunately the person that I was that I ended up with wasn't a good fit. So I had to find better pastures, which I have. So this company that I'm with, like I said, I'm not advertising it. I'm not promoting it. It's just a company that I enjoy working for. I got with this company. I got with the with the uh, recruiter. I got with him on the phone. He told me everything I needed to know. And he got me the truck. He got me the truck. This company is also 90% manual. So I'm telling you right now. There's only three automatics, and I'm in one of them, okay? So it's 90% manual. If my truck break down, I can still drive a manual. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. If your automatic, if you're in an automatic in this company, and if it's break down, and it stays in the shop for like a little bit, and you can't drive that manual, I'm sorry, you won't be able to make no money. You, you're going to have to wait, all right? Or what they would do is probably they'll rent your, your truck so you can keep rolling. But I'm just saying, this, this company is 90% manual, all right? So with that said, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and, you know, listening to me and all like that. If you have any comments, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you guys want to reach out, because I want to know your story. I want to know your experience. If you guys have a story to tell or some experience, get at me. Let's uh, let's collaborate together. You know, we could chop it up over the phone or on video, and we'll get your get your story out there. Lockoutmen at gmail.com and lockoutmen in the DM. Yo, follow me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to hit the bell for more content like this. Lockout, man, y'all. Hey, oh, one more thing. Don't forget the podcast. I think I might just put this one up on the podcast. I don't know, but I'm liking the podcast. Anchor.fm at lockoutmen.com. I'll talk to you later. I'm about to head on in here and see what I can do.